right, Chate Space Word of Bird. Welcome to another YouTube video playing some video games today. Today, of course, we're playing some NBA 2K20, playing some My Team. And in today's No Money Spent vid, we're going to run through all six Spotlight Solos. Yeah, spotlight Solos are an amazing way to improve your My Team lineup with player reward cards with MT and tokens. A great way to play the game mode, No Money Spent, something we do, me and Party Pete, every season playing the My Team game mode. But what's really required? Yeah, checking out these Spotlight Solos. When I first looked at these at the beginning of the season, I thought they were too good to be true. Yeah, Spotlight Solo's new to my team this year and figured there had to be a catch. I mean, really, there's not. And if you play these solos the right way, you're going to come out ahead. Yeah, way ahead. And then use that knowledge of how to work these Spotlight Solos to work the auction house a little. I'm going to show you how. Yeah, do a little sniping. Yeah, while I was putting this vid together, I had a little luck finding some amazing deals on uh, Evolution Udonis Haslam. Yeah, this card right now selling for 25,000 coins in auction. Some nice little flips here. Yeah, for my second No Money Spent squad, here is a look at it and just recently added Spotlight Dwight Reward Pink Diamond. And Blake Griffin to the squad. If the goal of this second squad is to run my team on a limited budget. On my other account, I have, let's just say, an unlimited budget thanks to working the auction house a little. Uh, so to get started on these spotlight solos, you need to pick first which one is right for you, and we're going to help you with that. Yeah, what player reward card would be a nice fit for your squad? What's your play style? More importantly, what's your budget? How much MT do you have to work with? Now, me, last weekend on this second account, uh, I had 200,000 coins to work with. I was able to get through the Clyde spotlight solos and get Diamond Steve Francis. Love this card. Yeah, the six spotlight solos solos will require anywhere between uh, 110,000 MT and as much as over 300,000 coins. So our recommendations, here we go. Uh, best on a tight budget would be the Wade and KG solos. Yeah, for both, you need around 100 to 115,000 MT each. And that is MT you'll need to buy the cards for each set. For the Isaiah Thomas Spotlight solos, you'll need around 150,000 coins. Uh, for the Clyde solos, you'll need just under 200,000 coins. Uh, for the new Dwight solos, you'll need around 205,000 coins. And for the Dirk Spotlight solos, you'll need over 300,000 coins. Yeah, buying these cards, though, for each set, you are not locking them in, just kind of borrowing them or renting them. Because yeah, once you run through these series of solos, you can sell them back in auction and still collect in on all the rewards. Now, as far as pricing on the cards in each set, of course, I created a spreadsheet that lists all the cards and their approximate value in auction. What I was doing was watching how many of each card were up, what were the cheapest buy nows, and then watching what the cards were selling for. I would definitely not recommend picking out a set and then immediately buying up cards without watching the auctions a little. Prices will fluctuate a little. And as you're watching cards, you might even find some snipes. Now use this spreadsheet as your starting guide. You will, though, of course, need to track prices on your own because prices can change quickly with new promos and locker codes. Been getting a bunch of fire locker codes recently from my team. Appreciate those. Uh, so some notes uh, heading into the weekend. Uh, right now, watching Rudy Rondo with the KG Spotlight Solos on Xbox One, his price has changed quite a bit. Used to be able to find this card pretty easy for two to 3,000 coins. Heading into this weekend, the card right now selling for over 10,000 coins. Uh, for the Wade Spotlight Solos, I'm always looking at that evolution you down as Haslam, and like I said, right now selling for around 25,000 coins. Also checking out Gold Brian Grant. This card selling for four to six. Uh, for the Clyde Drexler Spotlight Solos, always checking out the golds. They sell anywhere between three to five thousand coins. And for the new Dwight Spotlight Solos, I'm always watching for deals on Evolution JJ Reddick and Hito. Yeah, Reddick selling for around five, and Hito selling for around eight thousand coins. Now a reminder: you do not need some of the cards for the set. For example, for the Dirk Spotlight Solos, you do not need Pink Diamond Rolando Blackman. Uh, for the Dwight Spotlight Solos, you do not need Pink Diamond Richard Lewis. And thankfully for the Isaiah Thomas Spotlight Solos, you do not need Diamond Giannis. Now, as far as what's required to rock through a set of solos after you've collected the cards for a set, each is a little different. Now, starting out, no matter what set you pick to rock through, uh, you're going to want to pick up a Nets playbook and then be able to spam through that quick through STS play. We've talked about this in past vids. This is a money play, and on Superstar difficulty, the game can be ridiculous. And then, of course, trying to meet a game's win conditions, it can get stupid quick. And yeah, that quick through STS play is a game changer. Without it, it would be a, an absolute mess as far as game management is concerned. And me, I only want to play each game once and not have to repeat a solo if I'm not meeting those win conditions. Now, by far the easiest spotlight solos to run through are the Wade and Clyde solos. Uh, most games you just need to get a win. Uh, for some other games, though, you will need to score a specific amount of points with uh, each featured evolution card from the solos. I uh, would definitely recommend taking some time to evolve the card up a couple of tiers. That will make your life considerably easier. I would recommend doing that in triple threat offline. Now, me, I thought the KG spotlight solos were pretty easy. Uh, there was one game where you had to get 20 rebounds with KG, but this evolution KG card is pretty nice. Got it evolved to an amethyst right now and running it in my lineup. Now, the Dirk solos were annoying. While I love Dirk in real life, uh, this Evolution Dirk moves like a slug, and there was a game where you had to grab 19 boards with the card. This is definitely a card you want to take a little time to evolve. And for that game, it took a little cheesing, and that was keeping the game close and using overtime if needed, and then turning the ball over to give the opponents more possessions and then more chances at defensive boards. Now, the Isaiah Thomas solos, uh, there was that triple-double challenge, which was also annoying. Uh, you definitely need to uh, evolve this Isaiah Thomas to an Amethyst to get gold pickpocket. And of course, with any of the challenging solos, would recommend putting on a uh, shoe to boost stamina. 
stamina and then using your timeouts to manage the card's stamina. Now, I just finished up the Dwight solo, so I was pretty fired up to add this Pink Diamond Blake Griffin uh, to the No Money Spent squad. I uh, would definitely recommend rocking through the solos this weekend as the packs are still out and pricing on the cards now are lower this weekend versus last weekend. What you'll need is around 200,000 coins to get through the spotlight solos for Dwight. Uh, now, the scoring challenges with Dwight were not an issue. Uh, Dwight, this card is really nice. Uh, the blocks, though, uh, there were a couple of games that required uh, seven and nine blocks. Uh, to get those blocks, uh, I put on a half-court trap, which put pressure on the ball, and then baited the CPU to pass the ball to their player in the paint, and that's how I got my blocks with Dwight that way. I also want to keep this game close, too. Use overtime if needed if you're not getting the blocks required. Uh, game number four, you had to get seven blocks, and then game number ten, you had to get nine blocks. Now, what was cool, though, is the games were on rookie difficulty, so it was very easy to manage the game, manage the score. And then for that game number ten with the nine blocks, uh, they were on six-minute quarters, so lots of time to work with. Uh, now, game number 16, you had to get 30 rebounds with Dwight. That seems like a lot, but this game was ridiculously easy. Yeah, seven minute quarters and on rookie difficulty too. Now, if you're looking to evolve other cards, would definitely recommend looking at this game and coming back to it later to do some stat farming, if you know what I mean. Uh, good luck with that. Now, again, the spreadsheet is out there. There's a link to it in the video description below, and we'll also have a link to it on our Twitter account. Here is where you can find us on social media. Make sure you give us a follow. Uh, and likes, we really appreciate likes, so make sure you hit the like button for this vid. Tells us to keep making more My Team YouTube videos and subscribe so you're ready to check out that next vid. Uh, for Party Pete, this is Space. Good luck with those spotlight solos. We're out.